More than 300 military and civilian contracting professionals from each of the military services converged at Fort Bliss, Texas for the Army Contracting Command's Joint Contracting Readiness Exercise 2013. JCRX participants practiced their warrior skills and sharpened their contracting capability in a simulated contingency contracting environment. Brigadier General Ted Harrison, Commanding General of the Expeditionary Contracting Command. It's important that we're able to, uh, to do contracting training in a joint environment. You know, the entire military uh, fights jointly. And uh, just for instance, in Iraq and Afghanistan, we've relied heavily on our partners in the Air Force and the Navy and the Marine Corps uh, to provide operational contracting support to deployed forces. It's important that we have uh, the common procedures, uh, use the common automation systems, and are able to work together to be able to provide that support. And this exercise gives us the ability to bring all of those uh, partners in from the different military services to be able to train together. Contracting uh, in support of deployed forces has been with us since the Revolutionary War. The kinds of goods and services that we are procuring today are much, much more complex. Uh, we're providing logistic support, communications, uh, security, information technology, and even construction on the battlefield. It's extremely important that we're able to provide better contract support, better oversight, and be able to provide that in an efficient manner uh, to our warfighters. When we can leverage contracting support uh, in this way, it saves the taxpayer money because we're not having to bring all of that logistic support forward with us on the battlefield. First time participant Mary Beth Lanfor of ACC Rock Island explains why she sought out this unique training opportunity. The thing I was most excited about coming to JCRX was for the whole experience of working alongside the military and getting a different perspective on contracting. Um, at Rock Island I do reach back contracting so I have a lot of contracts over in Iraq and Afghanistan and I thought it would be interesting to work with the soldiers here and a lot of who have already deployed um, and get their perspective and work along my teammates. Staff Sergeant Brandon Gerald recently returned from a deployment to Afghanistan. The scenarios that they throw at you here are real live situations that go on downrange when you get to Afghanistan, Qatar, or whatever contingency you may go to. I'm glad I was able to make the mistake at the exercise and was able to take that mistake, learn from it, and then do the right thing when I was deployed. Major Steven Tateno of the Guam Army National Guard commented on the value of this training. We are working to do, make sure that all procedures, all policies are done correctly, and that's what this training is about. We don't want to jump into a, a contingency operation and then start learning from there. We want to do it here so that when we do get into that operation, we already understand how each other works. Learning to operate in a real-world contingency environment through the Joint Contracting Readiness Exercise, the Army Contracting Command is prepared to meet tomorrow's challenges to sustain and support America's military forces worldwide.